This is a shout out for my uh, one of my undergrad students, Nathaniel Thrash. He asked me how to get rid of clicks in his audio, so we have his audio up in the waveform. And if I play it, you'll hear the clicks. Oh, and Click. When I moved to Arizona. Um, Click. So he's got a few of these clicks. He doesn't know how he got them. That's fine. You know, shit happens. So the way I like to do it is the first thing I want to do is I want to get the spectral up so I can see it. So I'm going to click the spectral frequency. Ooh, look, pretty. And I can see, I know where those clicks are because I can see them. They're big spikes. So what I'm going to do is get around where I need to be. And I'm going to grab, start with the Band-Aid tool. And this tends to work pretty well for these. Spot healing. Come down to your click because you can see the little spikies. And you pretty much come straight down. You can see them. There they are. And make your brush small. So it just barely fits over. That way it won't interfere with other uh, audio. So I make it pretty, pretty tiny. If I hold the Shift T, click and grab, drag straight down, it will get the whole range of the click. And you can see they go away. That one's gone. And we can get this one too. So like I said, you can see them. Let's drag it straight down. And if you hit it right, you know when you've got it right because it goes away. So you can see each one of these. I'm sort of in the right spot. Click and drag. And no more click. San Diego. And well, I missed that one. I moved to Arizona. But the rest of them are gone. So yeah, you just it, it's tedious. Nobody likes your shit. It takes time. They're all and gone. So that's one way to get rid of it. I think it's the easiest, um, especially for clicks like that. Works like a charm. Go ahead and do it. I'm done. We're over.